Doggerland was an area of land, now lying beneath the southern North Sea, that connected Great Britain to mainland Europe during and after the last Ice Age. It was then gradually flooded by rising sea levels around 6500-6200 BCE. Geological surveys have suggested that it stretched from Britain's east coast to the Netherlands and the western coasts of Germany and the peninsula of Jutland. It was probably a rich habitat with human habitation in the Mesolithic period, although rising sea levels gradually reduced it to low-lying islands before its final destruction, perhaps following a tsunami caused by the Steregus slide. The archaeological potential of the area had first been discussed in the early 20th century, but interest intensified in 1931 when a commercial trawler operating between the sandbanks and shipping hazards of the Lemon Bank and Oa Bank east of the Wash dragged up a barbed antler point that dated to a time when the area was tundra. Vessels have dragged up remains of mammoth, lion and other land animals, and small numbers of prehistoric tools and weapons. Formation Until the Middle Pleistocene, Britain was a peninsula off Europe, connected by a massive chalk antic line the Wilder Euro Artois anticline across the Straits of Dover. During the Anglian glaciation, approximately 450,000 years ago, an ice sheet filled much of the North Sea, with a large proglacial lake in the southern part fed by the Rhine, Scheldt and Thames river systems. The catastrophic overflow of this lake carved a channel through the anticline, leading to the formation of the Channel River, which carried the combined Scheldt and Thames rivers into the Atlantic. It probably created the potential for Britain to become isolated from the continent during periods of high sea level, although some scientists argue that the final break did not occur until a second ice-dammed lake overflow during the MIS-8 or MIS-6 glaciations, around 340,000 or 240,000 years ago. During the most recent glaciation, the last glacial maximum that ended in this area around 18,000 years ago, the North Sea and almost all of the British Isles were covered with glacial ice and the sea level was about 120 m lower than it is today. After that the climate became warmer and during the late glacial maximum much of the North Sea and English Channel was an expanse of low-lying tundra, around 12,000 BC extending to the modern northern point of Scotland. Evidence including the contours of the present seabed shows that after the first main ice age, the watershed between the North Sea and the English Channel extended east from East Anglia then southeast to the Hook of Holland rather than across the Strait of Dover and that the Thames, Meuse, Scheldt and Rhine joined and flowed along the English Channel dry bed as a wide slow river that flowed far before reaching the Atlantic Ocean. At about 8000 BC the north-facing coastal area of Doggerland had a coastline of lagoons, salt marshes, mud flats and beaches as well as inland streams, rivers, marshes and sometimes lakes. It may have been the richest hunting, fowling and fishing ground in Europe in the Mesolithic period. One big river system found by 3D seismic survey was the Schotten River, which drained the southeast part of the Dogger Bank Hill area into the east end of the outer Silver Pit Lake. It is named after Birmingham geologist Frederick William Schotten. Disappearance As the thick ice sheet gradually melted away, at the end of the last glacial period of the current ice age, sea levels rose and the land began to raise and sink as an isostatic adjustment to the gradual removal of the huge weight of ice. Doggerland eventually became submerged beneath the North Sea, cutting off what was previously the British Peninsula from the European mainland by around 6500 BC. The Dogger Bank, an upland area of Doggerland, is believed to have remained as an island until at least 5000 BC. Before it flooded completely, Doggerland was a wide undulating plain containing complex meandering river systems, with associated channels and lakes. Key stages are now believed to include the gradual evolution of a large tidal embayment between eastern England and Dogger Bank by 7000 BC and rapid sea level rise thereafter, leading to the Dogger Bank becoming an island and Great Britain being finally physically disconnected from the continent. A recent hypothesis is that much of the remaining coastal land, already much reduced in size from the original land area, was flooded by a mega tsunami around 6200 BC caused by a submarine landslide off the coast of Norway known as the Steregus Slide. This theory suggests that the Steregus Slide tsunami would have had a catastrophic impact on the contemporary coastal Mesolithic population. 
Following the Sturego slide tsunami, it appears, Britain finally became separated from the continent and in cultural terms, the Mesolithic there goes its own way. A study published in 2014 suggested that the only remaining parts of Doggerland at the time of the Sturego slide were low-lying islands, but supported the view that the area was abandoned at about the same time as the tsunamis. Another version is that the Sturego slide tsunami devastated Doggerland but ebbed back into the sea and that later the bursting of Lake Agassiz released so much fresh water to the world ocean that sea level over about two years rose enough to permanently flood much of Doggerland and make Britain into an island. Discovery and investigation by archaeologists, the remains of plants brought to the surface from Dogger Bank had been studied as early as 1913 by paleobiologist Clement Reed and the remains of animals and worked flints from the Neolithic period had been found around the fringes of the area. In his book The Antiquity of Man, published in 1915, anatomist Sir Arthur Keith had discussed the archaeological potential of the area. In 1931, the trawler Coalinda hauled up a lump of peat whilst fishing near the Oa Bank. 40 kilometers east of Norfolk. The peat was found to contain a barbed antler point, possibly used as a harpoon or fish spear, 220 mm long, later identified to date from between 4000 and 10,000 BCE, when the area was tundra. The tool was exhibited in the Castle Museum in Norwich. Interest in the area was reinvigorated in the 1990s by the work of Professor Brian E. Coles, who named the area Doggerland and produced a series of speculative maps of the area. Although she recognized that the current relief of the southern North Sea seabed is not a sound guide to the topography of Doggerland, the topography of the area has more recently begun to be reconstructed more authoritatively using seismic survey data obtained through petroleum exploration surveys. A skull fragment of a Neanderthal, dated at over 40,000 years old, was recovered from material dredged from the Middle Deep, a region of the North Sea some 16 kilometers off the coast of Zealand, and was exhibited in Leiden in 2009. In March 2010 it was reported that recognition of the potential archaeological importance of the area could affect the future development of offshore wind farms in the North Sea. In July 2012, the results of a 15-year study of Doggerland by the Universities of St Andrews, Dundee and Aberdeen, including artifacts and analysis of survey results, were displayed at the Royal Academy in London. Richard Bates of St Andrews University said, We have speculated for years on the lost land's existence from bones dredged by fishermen all over the North Sea, but it's only since working with oil companies in the last few years that we have been able to recreate what this lost land looked like. We have now been able to model its flora and fauna, build up a picture of the ancient people that lived there and begin to understand some of the dramatic events that subsequently changed the land, including the sea rising and a devastating tsunami. In September 2015, archaeologists at the University of Bradford announced a major project to chart Doggerland in 3D, and to make extensive studies of DNA taken from deep-sea core samples collected in the area. In popular culture, the Mammoth Journey episode of the BBC television programme Walking with Beasts is partly set on the dry bed of the southern North Sea. The area featured in the Britain's Drowned World episode of the Channel 4 Time Team documentary series. The first chapter of Edward Rutherford's novel Serum describes the flooding of Doggerland. The legend The Cormorants of Utter St describes a sunken land in the Norwegian Sea. Science fiction author Stephen Baxter's Northland trilogy is set in an alternative timeline in which Doggerland is never inundated. The land of Samaria featured in the works of Robert E. Howard is situated in the areas of the North Sea and the British Isles. The opening song of Ian Anderson's 2014 album, Homo Erraticus, is titled Doggerland, and provides a first-person narrative from the point of view of the prehistoric people who might have lived there. The H.G. Wells story A Story of the Stone Age is set in Doggerland. See also, Britia, Maglamosian culture, outburst flood, Sunderland a Euro contemporary Southeast Asian land mass, Viking Bergen Island, Wield a Euro Artois Anticline. References Further reading, The Rediscovery of Doggerland, by Vincent Gaffney, Simon Fitch and David Smith, Council for British Archaeology, 2009, ISBN 1-900-2771-77X, Doggerland, 
A Speculative Survey, by B. J. Coles, Proceedings of the Prehistoric Society, 64 1998 pages 45 a Euro 81. Mapping Doggerland, The Mesolithic Landscapes of the Southern North Sea, V. Gaffney, K. Thompson and S. Fitch, 2007, Arcaria Press. Discussed in depth in Chapters 2-4 in Before Scotland, The Story of Scotland Before History, Alistair Moffat, 2005, Thames and Hudson Incorporated. ISBN 978-0-500-05133-7, Spinney, Laura. Robert Clark. Alexander Maleev. The Lost World of Doggerland. National Geographic 222. 132 a Euro 143. Retrieved November 30, 2012. External links, The Moment Britain Became an Island, Megan Lane, BBC News, February 15, 2011, North Sea Paleo Landscapes, Institute for Archaeology and Antiquity, University of Birmingham, North Sea Prehistory Research and Management Framework 2009, English Heritage, 2009, The Doggerland Project, Professor Brian E. Coles, University of Exeter. Includes hypothesized map of Doggerland in the early Holocene. CGI images of a Mesolithic camp beside the Shotton River, Das Rekonstruer at Doggerland, computer generated images of a Doggerland landscape, August 19, 2008. Der Spiegel, Hidden Doggerland Underworld Uncovered in North Sea, BBC News, July 3, 2012.